Hey everybody, it's Tia Deshay. Today is Friday, April the 22nd, 2022. It is 7.56 p.m. And this is another Mirrored Moment message with Tia Deshay. Mirrored Moments is a trademark of Tia Deshay LLC. I am Tia Deshay. I write now so others can remember later. I produce Purpose from Chaos. I'm a spiritual teacher for social, generational, and personal change. It is my intention to fulfill the scriptural mandates of Jeremiah 1.9 and Revelation 10.11. And it is my intention for Matthew, the 13th chapter and the 35th verse, to unfold in my life, ministry, and practice. Once again, this is a mirrored moment message with Tia Deshay. And the title of this message is Attitude Reflects Leadership. When I was engaged in my studies for my bachelor's and ministerial ordination um, for metaphysics, I remember I remember in one of the courses that the the founder of the International Ministry of Metaphysics in Sedona, Arizona, Dr. Paul, Dr. Paul Leon Masters. And in one of the courses, he said that if you want to know the state or the mind state, the mindset of a people, just look at their leadership, look at who they put in office. And that will tell you the mind state, the mindset of the people. And obviously that stuck with me because that's what this message is about. Um, An attitude reflects leadership is in a movie. It's a line in the movie. I just can't think of it. I think it's a Denzel Washington movie. Um, But it came from a line in the movie. And it reflects what I just said uh, um, in the course that I took when I was getting my bachelor's of metaphysics, um, that if you want to know the mind state of a people, look at who they put into office. Look at who they, who their elected officials are. So here we are in America. And it's, it's no secret. It's, it's, it's blatant, it's uh, news commentators, um, different journalists have pointed this out that our current president of the current, or the current president of the United States, uh, um, Biden, President Biden, is has a cognitive impairment like his cognitive ability is rapidly deteriorate deteriorating um it's on a rapid decline and it's it's not a secret so what does that tell you about the mindset of the people if the mindset of americans voted if the if the major obviously the majority of americans voted for President Biden, um, according to the democratic process. Um, and if he is suffering a cognitive decline, what does that say about the people, the majority of the people in the United States of America, they're experiencing a cognitive decline. And that would explain why we are witnessing just incidents and events of people who have literally lost their mind or have have expressed a disconnect in their mental abilities, in their cognitive abilities. It's been a rupture, a disconnect, um, a decline, and they're doing things that a person of a healthy mindset wouldn't do. But that reflects the leadership of this country. 
if the leader of this country of of America is having is is expressing a cognitive de decline for all the world to see then why is it a surprise to us that people are expressing a cognitive decline for for all the world to see because those very same people put this man in position in, in a position of power put him as president of the united states so we're just seeing through through the president of the united states we're seeing a reflection of the mental state of the people in america so it should be no surprise when we're seeing in rapid number um situations and events that that reflect the mental decline and the mental disconnect and the unhealthy mental state of americans it should be no surprise when we see this being expressed in every level uh, of our daily life because that's the, those people put our, the president in office who, who is experiencing a cognitive, cognitive decline. Give you another example. I live in the city of Detroit, born and raised here. Now, I've lived other places. I haven't stayed in Detroit my entire life. I've lived other places, but currently I'm back in Detroit. And it's interesting to me how people in the city complain, you know, about the leadership in Detroit. And Detroit, since, you know, I've been alive and been a resident here, has had its history of corrupt politicians, from mayors to city council um, people, from the Board of Education. It's just been corrupt. Or had, or had, or has had in history a history of corruption and so now that i understand this this quote attitude reflects leadership and now that i'm aware of if you want to know the mindset the mind state of a people look at their leadership it's like there's no need to complain anymore if if detroit has had a history of people stealing scamming um getting over that's because that's the mindset of the people here they scheme they scam and they want to get over and always looking for a handout how they can get over so you can't complain about the people in office because they just reflect you they reflect the majority of the citizens uh in detroit because you put them in office and you are subconsciously uh, uh, voting for people who are just like you, who scheme, who scam, who lie, who manipulate, who exploit, who always trying to find a way to get over and get the most out of something, but do the least amount of work, who want to be hood rich at the expense of other people. That's the city of Detroit. And so, therefore, that's the type of people you put into office. So don't get mad. When you complain about how, you know, we can't get um, quality, exceptional, you know, city services, such as waste management, law enforcement, um, health care, things of that nature, well... Attitude reflects leadership. You're going to get the level of service that you exhibit in your everyday life. See, people think that what they do behind closed doors stays behind closed doors. And that, you know, you could put on a front and pretend to be something, you know, in public for the world to see. And that that's all that matters. But that's not true. If in the city of Detroit, if we are experiencing subpar, um, subpar uh, services or um, subpar, what's the word I want to use? Um, 
services. If we're experiencing subpar services, that's because we're subpar. But you think because it's behind closed doors and no one sees it, that no one sees it. Because it's, it's what you do behind closed doors. So no one's going to ever know that you live subpar behind closed doors. You have ass behind closed doors. You deliver a... Uh, um, you, you perform activities in your life and you do it half ass. But you don't know that that's, that becomes reflective in the, in the city in which you live. Because if you, if it just, so when you complain, you're really complaining about yourself. Because it's just a reflection of what goes on in the homes of people in that community. The services that that particular city or county has or offers to its residents is just reflective of the people. We don't want to look at it that way because we want to blame everybody else except ourselves. If you start changing your behavior behind closed doors, and you start living a life of excellence, you start, you know, delivering excellence in your everyday life from the time you get up to the time you go to bed. If you stop half-assing, if you stop scheming and scamming, if you stop going to work and only doing half the job and taking longer breaks and, and just half-assing, then you, if you start being what you want to see in the world, then you'll start seeing it in the world, in the community. You have, you, you, in Detroit, you get half as service because you have as in your personal life. And people don't want to accept that. They think that the two are not even related. They think because I'm not in a position of authority, I'm not a politician. I'm not on city council. I don't sit on a school board. I'm not the mayor. I'm not the governor that I don't have to live up to that expectation. Yes, you do. Because we will always know what's going on behind closed doors in the community based on the type of people that we elect. Just like when President Trump was in office, you knew that the majority of Americans were racist. It was just now out in the open. We we knew that what they were saying behind closed doors and in and um in meetings and all of that, it was now out in the open because those were the people that put President Trump in office. It is it's it. it applies the same with any other leader but we don't want to look at it that way because we don't want to take responsibility for our actions so if you're tired of corrupt po politicians you tired of gentrification you're tired of you know just not getting the quality services that your that your tax dollars are, should go toward then you need to start doing that in your everyday life. Stop being mediocre in your everyday life. Stop being mediocre behind closed doors. Stop being corrupt behind closed doors. Stop lying. Stop gossiping. Stop throwing people under the bus. Stop trying to scam and get over and always looking for a handout. Start paying your bills on time. Start showing up on time. Start um, doing things and uh, start do, start doing things in an efficient manner. Stop procrastinating and putting things off and doing things at the last minute. And then maybe the police will show up on time. They're not showing up on time because you don't show up on time. 
it take you 15, 20 minutes to come back from break when your break was only five minutes. Or, you know, you always late. No matter what, you can't get to places on time. Or when someone asks you to do something, it takes you forever to get it done. Or you wait to the very last minute to get it done. Well, that's how people going to show up in your life. So when you call the police, they'll get there when they get there. They'll take care of you when they feel like taking care of you because that's how you treat other people. When you don't pay your bills on time, don't get mad when you are applying for assistance through, the, you know, through a government program, a state program, a local program, and they drag their feet in helping you because you do the same thing with other people. You drag your feet when, 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 you, when someone asks you to help them do something, you drag your feet. Or you, you pay your bills when you feel like paying your bills. Or you pay your bills when, when finally they give, they give you a shutoff notice. That's how you live your life, just dragging your feet. Waiting to the last minute to do things. And then you get mad when you utilize a city service and they drag their feet with you. Attitude reflects leadership. And it should really be, I should really change this title. It should be Leadership Reflects Attitude. Because the leaders of your particular city, like in Detroit or in your particular country, just reflect your attitude. Really showing you how powerful you really are. They just reflect your attitude. So in Detroit, I know in Michigan, we've been having a lot of issues with our state reps um, being pulled over for alcoholism, for drunk driving, DUIs, um, not being in their right mind. <laughs> I mean, not being in their right mind reflects the leader of this country. He's not in his right mind. He's not in a healthy, balanced state of mind. So it's no coincidence that the leaders in the state of Michigan is are going through those issues, not being in their right mind. Alcoholism. Some of our leaders in the state of Michigan, our politicians have, um, like I said, have had issues with alcoholism, DUIs. That just reflects the state of the people. That means it's a lot of people in the state of Michigan who put these people in power that are functioning alcoholics. This is to give you a new perspective and for you to think twice before you start complaining about people and about the city or the state or the country in which you live in because you put those people in office when you voted. So that means that they reflect a side of you that you complain about, that you talk about, but you think don't nobody knows about that side of you because you think you're doing it behind closed doors. Well, guess what? Whenever a leader of a city, a state, a county, a country starts showing behavior that is um, not ethical, or is questionable, that means the people that put them in, in those positions exhibit that same behavior behind closed doors. So maybe we should just all stop voting until we get our lives together. <laughs> until we can be people of integrity and then we'll put in put in power people of integrity maybe we need to get our lives right until we get our lives right we shouldn't be casting no kind of votes how about that something to think about so i will change the title of this it's going to be leadership reflects attitude the attitude of the people who put them in in position 
You can't hide people. You can't hide. I don't care how much you try to front for your neighbors, for your family, for social media. We will always know what's going on behind closed doors based on the people that are put into leadership positions, who you vote for. So if we're starting to see a lot of crimes, a lot of events in this country, and it's connected to people's mental state, that's because you have an entire president known as Sleepy Joe, who cognitively is not even doesn't even make sense when he talks. Is falling asleep during meetings with influential leaders of other countries. Who can't? Who who's having a a challenging time? Um, being fluent in his speech, transcribing his thoughts. If the leader of the United States of America is, is experiencing a cognitive, cognitive de decline in, in broad daylight, in HD, live and in living color, that means a lot of people that we're dealing with on an everyday basis is experiencing a cognitive a cognitive decline, a cognitive impairment right in front of our faces. Because those were the people who put him in office. How about that? So this has been another Mirror Moment message with Tia Deshae. Remember, pay attention to what you don't see. Because what you don't see will help you make sense of what you are seeing. Until next time, be blessed and be aware.